What's up guys, my name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you, unlike most of my other ones, it'll be very useful for you for one particular scenario, otherwise this video probably won't be of much use to you. However, of course, we're here to answer the question in the title, how exactly do we get our computer that's stuck in a safe mode boot loop out back into the normal version of Windows? Of course, safe mode is very limited. You have versions without networking at all, meaning you can't access the internet. You have versions without other things. And overall, it's really locked down and it's purely there for rescuing files and things when something goes terribly wrong on the normal version of Windows and you need to quickly pull everything back out or fix a major issue. So of course it's very useful and it has its purpose. However, sometimes you can get stuck in a boot loop where you get stuck inside of safe mode with no visible way out. So today I'll be showing you how exactly you can get out of this loop. Over here, I have a computer that is stuck in safe mode. What is the simplest way to get out of this? Well, the absolute simplest way is to press start, type in MS config as such, and then open up system configuration. Once you're here, head across to the boot tab and make sure that safe mode is unchecked. Upon clicking apply, you should go ahead, restart your computer, and you'll be dropped back into the normal version of Windows. However, of course, if this doesn't give you the option or this doesn't work, there's another way of doing it. Press start, type in CMD, and then right click on command prompt and click run as admin. And if you're prompted to click yes, simply do so. We'll type in BCD edit, one word, space, slash, delete value, space, curly bracket, current, close curly bracket, space, safe, boot as such. Then if you see this arrow over here, it means that it's probably already deleted this value. We'll press the up arrow on our keyboards and the left arrow to get back to here. Then we'll replace current with the default and it should also say the same thing. However, if it says action completed successfully, then it means that you've deleted this flag saying that it should restart into safe mode. However, if you see this error over here, then it means that it was not set using this method. How exactly was it set originally? Well, bcd edit space slash set space curly brackets current or default space safe boot space network as such or minimal, etc, etc. This is safe mode with networking. As you can see, the operation completed successfully. And if I go up to delete it, hit enter, you'll see operation completed successfully. So assuming that it was set using this method or something similar to it, using this bcd edit delete value command, if it returns this, then great, you've gone ahead and you've removed the safe mode flag from your computer. So the next time you restart it, you should go straight back into the normal version of Windows. There we go, we're back into the normal version of Windows, right onto our desktop where we left it, safe mode is now successfully disabled. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.